What's up, y'all? Chester and I check us here. I just wanted to come and speak on this Jamie Foxx situation. As we know, Jamie Foxx has supposedly been in the hospital since early April. You know, early April, we all got word per Jamie Foxx's daughter, Corinne, that Jamie Foxx had a medical emergency on the set of his new movie with Cameron Diaz. Rumor had it that Jamie Foxx may have had a heart attack, a stroke, or an aneurysm in which he stopped speaking, in which he had to be resuscitated, allegedly. Now, since that time, some some people say that Jamie was recuperating. Then there was another rumor circulating that Jamie Foxx's family was bringing in a neurologist, a specialist to assist Jamie Foxx in his recovery. Then just a few days ago, we heard that the family is preparing for the worst. On May 12th, 2023, Teray Roberts, which is a very famous, very popular cultural critic, as well as journalist, posted on social media for the world to see, putting his name on the line, his career on the line. He said that he heard from multiple sources that the legend Jamie Foxx is in serious medical condition. Incredibly sad situation, you know, and that of course the family was preparing for the worst. Then Jamie Foxx's daughter, just hours after Toure posted this, stated that her dad had been out of the hospital for three weeks. Corinne said, sad to see how the media runs wild. My dad has been out of the hospital for weeks recuperating. In fact, he was playing pickleball yesterday. Thanks for everyone's prayers and support. We have an exciting work announcement coming next week too. Okay, so you know I had to look up pickleball, honey, because I have never in my life heard of such. So pickleball is like tennis. Honey, you got to run all over the little court and everything to hit the ball, all right? So if Jamie Foxx is indeed playing pickleball, then what the hell is really going on? As far as his health and these rumors, the world is a very cruel place and you know, lies are more entertaining than the truth, okay? But I do wanna remind everyone, in 2020, Jamie Foxx starred in a movie called Soul. And in that movie, Jamie Foxx plays a musician and he gets a gig, he finally lands this gig and he's walking down the street and he falls into this manhole. So basically, Jamie Foxx is in a coma in this movie. How strange is that? And also, June of 2023, Jamie Foxx is also starring in a movie called They Clone Tyrone, in which this Netflix film is about a series of eerie events thrust in an unlikely trio onto the trail of a nefarious government conspiracy. Art imitates life, right? Remember Regina King in the Netflix film called Seven Seconds? Regina King said in an interview that it took her six months to let Netflix know that she would actually sign on to do the movie because she read the script and in the script her son dies and Regina King only had one son in real life and in reality her only child her son was found dead okay if that's not strange I don't know what is you know it's the same thing that happened with Paul Walker you know Paul Walker was a star of all the Furious movies the high octane driving and in fact he died in a blazing car wreck in which they stated that, you know, he was driving really fast. And, you know, I find it all strange. I find it all very bizarre. You know, this whole Jamie Foxx debacle. But something isn't quite right. And I'm just not sure if I believe Corinne, his daughter. I mean, clearly Corinne heard all the rumors about Jamie Foxx being on life support that have taken over social media. I mean, she can't be that far removed, can she? You know, to where she's not hearing that Jamie Foxx's friends are praying for him. Even one of Jamie Foxx's closest friends was telling everyone to muster up enough prayers to help save Jamie. What's really going on here? You know, it kind of seems like they're just flooding media with all sorts of what ifs just to keep us confused. I find all of this very convoluted, very chaotic. I think a lot of the rumors are very strategic. You guys drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this and we are gonna talk about it. Talk.